Welcome to our first session in our new series exploring some equations that every health and safety practitioner should know. At the end of the session, you should be able to apply song formulas to calculate several song related problems. The equation sheet provided by ABIH for the CIH exam will serve as a guide for the song equations that we are going to explore in this series. Other series will explore the ventilation equations, the radiation equations, and a lot more. So, subscribe if you want to be notified when they become available. In this session, we will explore the first row of equations, which include the equations for song pressure level, song intensity level, and song power level. In the next session, we will tackle even more of the song equations on the sheet. Immediately we notice that all three formulas have a similar structure. We have a ratio, we have a log function, and we have a numerical value that is multiplied to the logarithmic expression of that ratio. Although they look similar, they are very much different in nature. Let us now break down the equation for song pressure level. In this equation, P stands for the measured song pressure in pascals or newtons per square meter. P0 is a reference value which is 20 micropascals. This corresponds to the threshold of hearing at a thousand hertz. Now, the song pressure is a pressure changes that occur when a song wave passes through a medium. Let us now apply the formula using an example. If a song wave generates a pressure of 0.3 pascals, what is the song pressure level? All we have to do is substitute the relevant values into our equation. By doing so, we are going to arrive at an answer of 84 decibels. So for P, we substitute that with 0.3 pascals, and for P0, we substitute that with 20 micropascals. We now need to get rid of our log value, and to do that, we raise it to the power of 10. We also have to do the equivalent on the left side of the equation. By doing this, we are going to eventually end up with our answer of 0.3 pascals. This equation is used to calculate the sun pressure level at varying distances, provided that certain information is available. Let us now break down the equation. We have D1, which is the distance 1. We have D2, which is the distance 2. We have SPL1, which is the sun pressure level at distance 1. And we have SPL2, which is the sun pressure level at distance 2. Let us now apply the formula using an example. A sun level meter measured a sun pressure level of 60 decibels a distance of 2 feet from a speaker. What is the sun pressure level 6 feet from the speaker? Assume an open environment. Now, what we can do in this case is we can itemize our information to make it easy for us to put the relevant values into our equation. So in this example, D1 is 2 feet, D2 6 feet, SPL2 is unknown, and SPL1 is 60 decibels. By putting these values into our equation, we are going to get a value of 50 decibels for SPL2. The important thing to know about applying this equation is ensure that your SPL2 corresponds with whatever your D2 is, and your SPL1 corresponds with your D1. Let us now try the opposite. If a sun level meter measured a sun pressure level of 50 decibels, a distance of 6 feet from a speaker, what is a sun pressure level 2 feet from the speaker? Now we already know the answer would be 60 decibels. This is the exact opposite of the previous example that we were working on. So all we would have done in this case is, we have substituted the relevant values into our equation and we are going to get the 60 decibels. This formula is the formula for song power level. 
In this formula, W stands for sung power measured in watts, and W naught is the reference number, which is 1 by 10 to the negative 12 watts. Sung power is the rate at which sung energy is emitted per unit time. 1 watt is equal to 1 joule per second. The last formula that we're going to examine would be sung intensity level. I is equal to sung intensity measured in watts per square meter and I naught is a reference number also 1 by 10 to the minus 12 however the units of this is watts per square meter. This also corresponds to the approximate sung intensity at the threshold of hearing. Sung intensity is the sung energy emitted per unit area. See you guys in the next session.